Hey folks, how are you doing today? Hopefully everybody's alright. And I hope you're having a good weekend. As you can see, I've decided to smoke my new pipe today. Um, I was supposed to be holding off on the pipe because I was trying to leave the blend that I want to dedicate this pipe to. Uh, to for the flavors to meld together a bit longer but uh, during the live stream that London Calling did last night uh, George R kind of managed to persuade me to give it a try today so in this I'm actually smoking my Kazadoom blend um, which, as I say, is a new blend that I've kind of put together. The pipe itself is smoking fantastic. It's really nice and cool. Uh, the bowl's nice and cool. It's got quite a thick bowl to it, so it's, you know, it's, yeah it's keeping the heat inside the bowl in the chamber where it needs to be. I am getting a little bit of gurgle but nothing major. Um, and as I say I'm smoking my Kazadoom blend which as you can see there it's 50% Cyprian Latakia 20% Sutliff 515 RC1, 20% Black Cavendish, and 10% Cuban. Um, the all of the tobacco, other than the Sutliff 515, they're all Robert McConnell's blending tobaccos. Um, the Cuban is just listed on the tin as 100% pure Cuban cigar leaf. Um, it's a really nice blend, it works quite well, bearing in mind it's only been about a week that I put it together, so it's still quite young. Um, you can, uh, hopefully you can see a little bit how the blend is. Uh, it's a fairly dark but not too dark a blend. Um, the jar note for it is very much a garden bonfire kind of uh, smell. Um, smoke wise, yes the Latakia does take the press, uh, the leading role but with the Sutliff 515 that gives it a really nice sweet uh, note to the blend as well, so the Latakia isn't overpowering despite it being 50%. It burns really well, it's you know it's lit very well, it's stayed lit without a problem, um, and it's burning to a fine grey ash. <coughs> The black Cavendish in the blend gives the basically adds volume to the blend. It's, it does it, you know, it's not a flavoured Cavendish, it's just pure black Cavendish. So it, it really just adds volume to the blend, to be honest. And then the, the Cuban cigar leaf, I can't really taste what I would have expected. You know, I mean, when you think of cigar leaf, you, can't, you, you obviously think of cigars. Um, and the flavours you get from the cigar. Now I'm not picking that up, but I am getting a nice rich creaminess to the blend, which I believe comes from the Cuban leaf. Um, I might actually just uh, jiggle about with the content, you know, with the portion just a little bit. Um, 
maybe add just a touch more Latakia, but in all honesty, uh, I'm actually happy with the way the blend is right from the get-go. Um, it's the first iteration of the blend that I've made, and I actually think it works very well. It's not as smoky as I anticipated in flavour, um, but it is quite a rich blend, I think. And as a result of this test, uh, you know, this first pipe, I think, to be honest, I am going to make another batch up and I'll make a, a bulk batch um, so that I, I definitely have plenty of it available to me. Um, I only made a 50 gram total uh, test batch. Um, so yeah, very very happy with it so far, very very happy with this pipe, it is beautiful to hold in the hand, it just feels so comfy, I mean it is a very large bowl to be honest, um, you know it's, it's a well well made pipe, uh, the wooden stem is great, it's, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to the mouthpiece, just for the simple fact that it is a round or oval shaped mouthpiece um, so it just feels a little bit different uh, from a regular fishtail but all in all it's a perfect combination I couldn't have asked for a better pipe to be honest it really is nice and if things change in the future I will be getting more of this range of pipes um, because there are some really good ones there's one you know there's a couple that have a slightly bigger bowls I think um, the Doran pipe is one uh, which has more of a mm, similar to a poker type bowl although it is still a, a church warden uh, pipe itself. Um, so yeah, that was just a, a quick chat. I thought I'd share my first smoke of this pipe, my first smoke of the Kazadoom blend. Um, as I say, I'm going to be making up a bigger batch of it. Um, and yeah, really, really happy with it. Um, just before I go, uh, I came across um, another new channel today. Uh, I will be giving them a shout out to my, uh, next week, um, but two channels for you to check out uh, would be Old Boy Piper and Nelly Catalano. Um, there will be links in the description below. Um, and I'll give them a shout out in my proper follow Friday next week as well. But with that, you folks take care and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.